what are the stocks in focus today on back of news, on back of uh, uh, corporate developments and bulk deals, etc. Pranay is standing by with a list of all the names to watch out for. Pranay, morning. Good morning, Karunia. Well, there aren't too many stocks and the news also isn't uh, that big when it comes to developments. But nevertheless, uh, in this uh, shortened week, on Monday, we've seen that Sri Cement has commissioned its Kala Buragi uh, cement plant uh, fully. Also, JK Cement, the board has approved in resolution uh, to come out with a QIP in order to raise about 600 crores uh, reportedly. This is for expansion. The floor price for which has been set at about 732.40 uh, apiece. Uh, the final price, the issue price will be decided in a couple of days when the board uh, finally uh, meets for that. Tata Motors JLR uh, management has said that they continue to face global headwinds. Uh, as of now, there are no truth to the rumors that the company is looking to divest its stake. And uh, the chairman of Tata Motors and Chandra actually wrote uh, to the British Prime Minister saying that they remain committed to JLR's long-term growth investments and were seeking some clarity with regards to the Brexit plan. Camlin Fine Sciences has said that there has been no loss of production nor injury to any workmen due to the fire accident at uh, Tarapur plant and the plant has actually uh, commissioned uh, or uh, resumed production. Manali Petrochem has uh, got the notice from the Central Pollution Control Board uh, with regards to the strict uh, environmental norms and has therefore had to stop operations at one plant. Nagarjuna Fertilizer has restarted urea production from Kakinada plant even as it uh, is in the process of long-term debt resolution with its uh, lenders. Uh, Suprachit Engineering in an exchange uh, filing has said that they expect the second half of the fiscal to be better. The consolidation of order component space is going to add, gather space. Uh, um, when you look at their expansion plans, um, that seems to be progressing well and they're also open to strategic asset purchases right now. Lastly, there was a bulk deal where in Nath Biogenes we've seen Kavi Global Opportunity Master Fund selling about 5 lakh shares, uh, buying about 5 lakh shares, uh, sorry, and the sell over here was Goldman Sachs Private Limited.